If I told you that Ready Player One's trailer was made for references, I wouldn't be lying. But I wouldn't be telling the full truth either, because between the compression, the bitrate, and the resolution, I, I could hardly spot the references that looked so bad. The, the trailer itself is really good, though. Anyway, it's honestly impressive just how many references they're able to fit into two minutes. I've scrubbed through this thing 50 times, frame by frame, and I'm gonna go over every single reference in the trailer. Rapid fire, let's go! Right off the bat, we've got a shot of what looks like Harley Quinn in Deathstroke. A lot of people think this is Deadpool, but as I looked really hard at the horrible video quality, I noticed that the mask, the sword placement, this little neck thing, and this ammo belt thing, and his arm, it kinda looks like Deathstroke. And of course we got Harley Quinn with her classic pigtail look and a very Harley Quinn looking outfit there. Moving on, we've got what looks to be Conan the Barbarian with a very Arnold physique and a Barbarian-like skirt and a haircut that looks like Arnold's haircut in the movie. And then boom, Gandalf floating around in the plasma dance thing. He's got Gandalf outfit, you know, Gandalf beard, Gandalf hat. This is a Warner Brothers movie after all, so it makes sense. Obviously, we have the Iron Giant, who's probably going to be voiced by Vin Diesel, and apparently he's supposed to be a big part of the story. We've got this extremely badass CGI scorpion that I almost thought was a Zoid at first, but it's it's probably not. Anyway, the birds around him, I'm almost positive that these are the ostrich things from Joust, or maybe wizards. I'm not sure. I think it's Joust because they, they got the wing things the, and the Joust and sticks. Oh, and it turns into this egg thing when he dies. But this is the shot where stuff starts getting really interesting because we got Freddy Krueger, we've got Duke Nukem, and it is Duke Nukem because look at that shirt that he's wearing, look at the pants. He's got the ammo belt thing hanging off his chest. You can kind of see the sunglasses. It's Duke. The name's Nukem, Duke Nukem, and I haven't been in this few pixels since 1991. But most shocking of all, we've got the Halo Assault Rifle. What? What are they doing with that? Now that is interesting. I love this effect that they've done, where on a kill, they turn into currency that is then transported to the player that got said kill. It's cool. And we can see a brief reflection of Ben Mendelsohn in Wade's headset. The A-Team's van and Mad Max's black on black also made it into the film. And that's Christine, the killer car from the horror movie about a car, Christine. And as we get another shot of Mad Max's black on black during the race, we see what looks to be a variant of a Knight Rider vehicle. That, that's that gotta be Kit. Now, I'm not too familiar with all the makes and models of Kit throughout the series, but uh, that lens flare for that red light, it's unmistakable. They're putting too much attention on it. They're drawing too much attention to it. It's gotta be Kit. And also, um, we have the bike from Akira. Badass. There's also a pretty sweet little Atari logo on the Akira bike. And finally, a final shot of Mad Max's black on black and that's that's all I could find if if the bitrate was better I could probably find more but it's terrible anyway the movie looks great the movie looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun hopefully they do it justice it looks like they're actually deviating from the plot of the book a little bit because there was no race in the book I think they may be taking the jousting and replacing it with a race although according to some people apparently the race takes place at the beginning I don't know. I'm not sure on that. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this breakdown, leave a like or subscribe for more videos like this on movies and video games. And until next time, take care.